The next thing we want to do to import the RSView32 project is to create an HMI server. We will create the HMI server in our new area HMI folder. This will keep it separate from other servers in the application. To create the HMI server, you right-click on the area where you want to create it and select Add New Server, HMI Server. The HMI Server wizard will start. The operation we want to perform is to import a project, so select that. Click Next. Click OK to acknowledge this message. The Factory Talk View Studio Import Wizard is started. First, we need to select the type of application we're importing. As you can see, the first option, RSView32 Project, is what we want. You can also import a Factory Talk View Machine Edition project or another Factory Talk View Site Edition project. Select RSView32 Project. Now we need to browse for the RSView32 project file. We'll go and select our RSView32 project and click Next. The final step is to give the HMI server a name. We'll name ours New HMI Server and click Finish. At this point, Factory Talk View Studio imports the RSView32 application, going through tags and all displays, and also converting any other components you might have in the application, such as parameter files, data log files, and macros. This RSView32 application is small, so it only takes a couple of minutes. If you have many screens with lots of graphics or many tags, conversion may take a little longer. If you're importing an RSView32 project to Factory Talk View SE on a 32-bit machine, you'll see a step where the tag database is converted to the new format. In our case, we already performed this step with the legacy tag database conversion utility so that the project could be imported on our 64-bit machine. As you can see, the RSView32 application was successfully imported into our HMI server called New HMI Server. Below this HMI server in the Explorer, there is an HMI Tags folder where you can find the HMI Tag database as imported from the RSView32 project. There's also a Graphics folder where you can find things like displays, global objects, graphic libraries, parameter files, and recipes. HMI Tag Alarm Configuration is found in the HMI Tag Alarms folder. The Logic and Control folder contains derived tags, events, macros, and client key configuration. And finally, the Data Log folder is where data log models are configured.